Before this even begins, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Yannick, Socrates and Aiden who is currently not here. But without them none of this would happen. Also thank you and for the support and everything I've given us from the teachers, which are Sam, MC and Anna. Thank you so much. So without further ado, let's get started. And of course, I just missed out two very important people, which without this, and without bringing this up, none of this could have happened. There was their idea. Thank you to my parents, Aspasia and Edward. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so here's Yanni to talk about Parliament. Okay, so this is our, our Parliament. It's our most essential building because it makes the laws, and without laws, uh, laws and rules, you, the city will just be a free city, like everybody will do what they want. So Without laws, people will die, the city is just corrupt. Pretty much. But without rules. Exactly. Mm -hmm. High five, please. Right. Now, our city or state, we have it decided, is located in Madrid. The reasoning for this is because it in has Madrid, a it, it has, has a perfect temperature for our city. Be, the reason is because. Most of our buildings, including the three pyramids, which Socrates will talk about soon, and our parliament and other buildings, are shaped in a different way. As you can see, hot air travels to the top of the building, which will always be hot in Madrid, pretty much. And it, hot air is always at the top. It goes down, 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 down. And when it reaches the bottom, it becomes cold air. How this works is because each bump or group is like a filter. Each bump is a rotation, goes down, rotation, goes down, rotation. Now we have Socrates to talk about three pyramids. Okay, these three buildings or pyramids are the three most essential buildings in the whole city. These three buildings are in each section. The red one is the fire department, the blue one is the police department, and the white one is the hospital and the ambulance. Um, the hospital, they are very close together because these buildings are very important and th they're very important because without the hospital, if people got injured, um, how would they get better? How would they heal? Well, that's why we have the hospital right here. And as you can see with the fire department, it's the colour red so people, because most fire um, engines are red so people go to the fire department. Uh, because without the fire department, uh, most fires or other emergencies that the police can't get to would not be stopped. And now the police department, without the police department, all criminals or people against the law uh, would get away with the things they do. So thanks to the police department, we have a safe and happy city. Now, now I'm here to talk to you with Yanni about the court, courtyards. Okay, so the reason why we have a courtyard is for like when the ambulance or hospital, the, the fire department and the police um, or even the, any of the citizens or, or any of them, when they're having a break they can just go to this courtyard and just have a break and have their lunch or whatever now, they're having. Now, the reason we've made the, this water inside without boundaries is because this water is 100% drinkable, it's 100% swimmable in. So as you can see, you can drink it, each of these holes are a filter and when I first introduced this idea, my teammates mocked me. But with research, yeah, we found we found that um, Mazda City had this um, idea, like that's like having a drink drinking fountain and a swimming fountain, which you a can actually fountain. swim in and drink in. So, say if you're lazy, you don't want to get up, you need to have a drink. Stay there, stay there. We don't care, and just have a drink. This is 100% kid friendly. Because, as you can see, the water flow, flow actually pushes you out. So, say if there was a little kid and he was starting to drown, the water flow actually pushes you out to the side. So you can be safe. So you can be safe, exactly. Now, unfortunately, this main thing is not, the main water feature is no. not drinkable or swimmable. It's in. just for good looks. And another reason we put so many water features and swimming pools in because that um, they pretty much air, air the city out. So the cold water it evaporates and it goes around the swimming. 
it goes around the city. Now these are the B rings which each one you can see is a different colour. So the glowstone ones are residential, so they're actually apartments to buy. The stone ones are apartments to lease or let. The ones or the lock wooden ones are for commercial buildings and I things advertisement, anything to sell. Now basically without greenery this would look like a jungle, a concrete jungle. But because we live in an environment city, our city has chosen to solve that. Each, each, each building is covered by dirt from the back only. So when you look, you cannot actually see a building, not a really big building, it just looks like a mound, a beautiful mound. So we also give them the option, because this is already done, some people are arguing about it, but we give them the option to just make them happy. Basically, we want to store their choices from a netball court, a soccer pitch, a basketball court, just a playground type of thing, or any type of outdoor activity. Obviously, this will be fenced off. So and a football, the football pitch. Yeah, obviously, this will be fenced off, so people won't fall off. But this is basically what all of these buildings will look like from the back. And most of them will have activities on them as well. Now, let's sh I'll show you about our sporting fields. And now we'll take you to the sporting field. This, this is, is the main, main sporting field. field. So, so this is, is our basketball, basketball um, arena. Well, not arena, like a court. court. And, 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 and on the side of it, there's a soccer pitch, pitch which is there, which is and a playground. Now, another main feature of this, this is the eggs are actually lit up at night. night. So, so here's, here's a quick, quick demonstration. demonstration. So, so this is what it looks like at night. night. You, you can, can actually see, see on the black wall the boundaries are highlighted. Now, this is what it would look like if the As you, you can, can see, it's actually nearly impossible to see because of how dark it is. That's that was our basketball court at night. This is a soccer pitch at night. As you can see, see it's great. It's literally, we've got, got more. more. We can almost shoot gold, really. Boom! Now, now here's the actual red soccer pitch. Uh, this is our soccer court. Uh, it's one of the most important things in the soccer pitch. And, and as you can see, there are two soccer balls, and the soccer balls are designed with um, indestructible nets, so it's very hard to break the nets with the soccer ball. And it does not, the soccer ball will not go through the net, so it's a very special kind of net. As you can see, the pitch is made of glowstone, so the glowstone is lit up at that, so it's easy to see. The reason, the reason we've used glowstone is because we. Because glowstone is a natural material, it spreads natural light. We never have to pay an electricity bill. Again, because it's just natural, it produces electricity. Yeah, 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 because it's just natural, it produces electricity. As you can see, this is our playground, which is combined with these two pictures. Now, as you can see, I'm going to show you the playground. I spent a lot of time into this, and I'm glad to see how it's finished. So, this is just a flyover. See what it looks like. And see if you can guess what some of the things are. Okay, I'll start at the bottom. So at the bottom, we have a rock climbing wall to get up. A fake cafe for kids, order up as you can see. And a, a monkey bar for kids to have fun. And as you can see, we'll get up the way using the rock climbing wall. Now, let's go from the start to the end. These are the ladders to get up. So, getting up. Getting up. I designed this to be like a helicopter. App. This is our playground, as you can see. Due to legal reasons, if we mention any names, we'll just, it'll just come up with generic food restaurant. So, um, I'll give you a tour from front to start. This is the ladders to get up. As you can see, up, up. Now, this is a helicopter, like you'd see at a generic food restaurant. It's got glass, so you can see out over the lake and over the playground. 
this is a pipe where you can hide from your friends and just have a fun time crawling through. This is the bridge where you can just climb across, have a look around. Now this is noughts and crosses. No one wins. I, I've I've even tried, but no one wins. As you can see, noughts, crosses. Actually, circles wins. Yes, they do. So this is a workout machine you might find at a generic park. <laughs> so um, as you can see, you just squeeze the bars. Obviously, it's for kids, so you can hang it off of it, or you can squeeze that, pull it back, or squeeze these in. Now and here we have monkey bars. Some kids like to walk across them so we've done that and for the ground if you're at ground you can actually use them as monkey bars so boom 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 now this is a fake cafe because i know lots of kids like to all use fake cafe so we order it up as you can see and on the back we've just done some in um, like it like um what are they called ingredients like so yeah like, ingredients like, like so coffee you spell coffee wrong yeah, wait, but coffee like if you want a coffee man, and then, like like say like in a bacon coffee. pizza so you can just give them imaginary food another thing which is a great idea of mine is a rock climbing wall so see it's just like a rock climbing wall so you can climb up and scale it up. So this is our um, housing, and who's talking, he's talking a bit about our housing. Okay, as you can see, there are many houses for residents to live, in, to live. so you cannot really complain about there's not enough living areas. And the best part about the houses is they're right next to the park. So if it's a family, they can go straight go to the park. And another thing is, the main houses before the trees, uh, these are the most expensive housing because they're right next to the beach and there's nothing blocking them. And that also, the reason we put lots of trees in here is because, well, with that trees, well, it just looks like a... For, it's a, for the sustainable part yeah. of our city. That's what makes our, that's what makes our city healthy, a healthy, a sustainable So city. there's a whole row with just trees growing. Now, here's the beach. Now, we've got one of the finest selection of water lilies in the world, and we actually have the rare... Ottoman water lily, as you can see right here, growing. You can only find in our city. Which you can only find in our city. That's another sustainable aspect. We actually grow water trees. Yeah. Good. As you can see, our city is one of the biggest exporters of squid and other types of fish. If even if you wanted to just fish off the beach, there's plenty of squid and fish in the sea, as you can see here. So even if you just wanted to fish with your dad, get something to eat, you could fish off it. And the reason Swimming in this water is fine because these squid are very friendly squid, but you gotta be careful with the swim in the water. Yeah. So um, there are special parts of the beach where you can swim and there's yeah. parts like this where you cannot swim. Yeah, these are parts where you cannot swim because they're and then there's other parts out way out there, up out on the sea where um, there are parts where fish are actually bred so we can keep having a sustainable um, thing a sustainable fishing as you can see this is a filter to block out in case any small fish sharks or anything else come through so let's try it out to see what happens if a squid got near and tried to get through now this is powered by redstone energy as you can see now look at it they can't actually get through so as you can see they cannot get through even if they try more than they could it will just not let them get through here now the reason i on to what somebody said before the reason these are pyramids because um they, it's basically the same works as parliament and the three main big pyramids it goes down does does a turn goes down does a turn goes down does a turn goes down now here's the display home for to show now most houses will be like this obviously you can edit it if you want something different or you don't or if you wanted to add yeah you can remember it so if you wanted something else, they could add something else. If you wanted something different or taken it out completely, you could take it out. Or well, if you wanted to renovate the whole home, you could. Yeah. So as you can see, it's not very big on top. 
you, no one actually live, no one actually lives here on top. So this is just almost just the entry. Of, it's the entry basically. As you can see, you've got your own garden to grow anything you want. You can grow so anything you want in, in here. Yeah, this is our garden, and this is our where all the where all the rooms are. So this is our like where all the rooms are in the house. As all the kitchen is where where you eat, where where you go. As you can see, thank you, natural eye. The whole living room is filled with it from the top. That's why the reason I actually put glass, so it didn't become claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. And um, yeah. there's an elevator getting up and down from this, so you can get up to like the normal world that's happening. For so this is new technology for our fridge. You can send in whatever you need or whatever orders you need from your phone or your tablet. Now, once it's sent, it will get a not notification on your phone or whatever you sent it on, and you simply just open it, and it chucks out whatever you want. So I ordered more chicken that time. Now, this time, I actually am choosing, kind of choose some cooked pork chop. And again, I'm going to choose some... Um, I'm gonna choose some um, steak and more lemon. So it's really an amazing piece of technology. Which yeah, yeah, very it's, smart. It's very it's it's smart technology. So you really so you can just cook it here. And because of Minecraft's limited resources, just use your imagination. I tried the best I could for some right, for some the, things. The in the fridge. Yeah, for some things it looks realistic. For others it doesn't. I just tried my best. So, just use your imagination. And you can as you can see, this is a dining table. With candles on family. As you can see, each person has their own mug that they can drink from. Right now, it looks like they're all drinking hot chocolate, so it must be early <coughs> in the morning. And, and also, we, we forgot to say... Okay, so we also forgot to say is this, this um, city may not go out of like it won't have any blackouts as you know, like yes. it won't be any blackouts because it's um, our all our lighting is from glowstone and yeah all our lighting from glowstone and other natural producers of light now here's the two this is the two children or guest bedrooms now this is the first one this is the one that you get firstly so you get the choice this is the main one the manufacturer's choice to make it with so as you can see, laptop. <laughs> as you can see, this has got a tablet on the desk and it's got a laptop. This is the manufacturer's choice. So if you don't ask for any specific thing for your guest room, you'll make it like this. Now, for a girl's bedroom, say if you had a girl, this person has actually chosen. So I've made this one. I've made this one to be like for a lady, for a lady, and to customize it. So this is, um manufacturer's choice but this is like a little girl's bedroom and she designed it so as you can see you can actually customize it we have glowstone again behind the leaves so you won't get out of electricity but it also hides it as well and this because it's a girl's bedroom she's actually chosen to put pink a pink bed head it just it's just all a but the face, little girl's how, how would she, how would she um go to sleep with all the light and the roofing Simple. With advanced technology these days, you can simply just do this at a flick of a wrist. As Yadi asked before, let's hope that this can be answered. The question: How do you turn off? How the do you turn off the lights, and how is she able to go to sleep? Simple. New technology. Look at that. Completely black. Now, so as you can see, yeah, Sukris and Yani. Yep. The lights have actually completely gone off. Now the reason it actually still looks bright is because I have to, just to make sure you can see I've added brightness. So you can see the lights have gone off with just a flick of a wrist, turn the lights on, off, watch. So you each person in the house gets their own their own portable they're in basically portable switch or lever. Now what they do, you just place it above the door and as soon as you click it and as soon as you click it, bam, glowstone. So yeah, it's really cool. So if you don't believe me, watch this again. 
I said that you could. Impressive. Mm, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, look clever. At that. Very clever. Very clever. The full tour of the house, and we'll talk to uh, me, Lily. Unfortunately, Socrates has left us, and again, big thank you, Socrates, for just all the help and all the support and he's all, done, and all the things like his yes, his, his help to do for our smart uh, for our smart cities project. He was the sensible one. He always knew if we came up with the idea, but he, he would but, always think of the like most the um, bad and the good and the, ways yeah, how it would also, affect. He'll always come up with the what is it called? It's come to me. It's like it. So he, he was always the he, he was, was always the person. He was always the person who made the most professional words to make our sentence. He always he was always the most professional person just to talk about it. If we said something silly, he would say, No guys, we have to be serious and he'll help us rewrite it. So big thanks to him. Fortunately he's left he's left now. <laughs> but we'll see you at the hub. Now it's just being honey. Now it's just uh, me and Matthias and uh, talking about our tours on the house. Okay, so this is the office. Now as you can see it's got a lovely cap guy. And we, and we have a study. Yep, as you can see, laptop, bookshelf, and the reason I put it so close to the desk is because if you want, if you want to sit down, you if you want to sit down or just grab a book, watch. Even if you just want to watch TV, even if you, <laughs> even if you wanted to watch a movie, just like this, um, you just chill out and watch. Now the reason I put the bookshelf so close is because it's actually blocking your view of the desk. So when you're watching it, you just have to chill out. And just relax and think about just what can happen. What can happen, and you don't have to just constantly stress about and it, and work. It, and if you and if you like, um, so so say you had a if you went to the university in our city, you, and they give you some work to do, you can they can um if it's a DVD, you can plug it into the, the computer and it'll play on the screen, and you can watch that. And while the movie's playing, you could take some notes down on what your project was on that movie. Mm -hmm. And the thing like that I haven't introduced is these beautiful green walls. Now, this is an immense, amazing, I, I just can't express how amazing this is. Yeah. These are green walls. Okay, so these, as you can see, they let in some light. You can actually see the top. Yes. But they're like, they're green walls. I've got plates behind it, as you can see. So, no. No, no, not plates as in like, even so, plates. As in like, plates as in. Metal plates. So, yeah. kind of like these. Almost, they are uh, back. It was in themselves. It's direct from our desalination yeah. plant. Um, also, yeah. Which we'll talk about the de desalination plant. Soon. Soon. So, as you can see, this is a cooking area. We're for saying. legal reasons, we can only say fresher and pork up. Because if, if we, we might get if, if, if we get um, a company, we could, it, it will be caused as copyright and we could um, just get, get sued. fine. Okay, so this is groundbreaking technology. So say, say I just opened up my handy phone, and just as you can see, I'm holding my phone now. As you can see, I'm holding my fo phone now. So it I'm just, hard. I'm just ordering what I want from the fridge. And when you actually go to the fridge to get what you want, it'll calculate your order. And when you open it, it'll spring it out. So I wanted an apple, which is amazing. And now we can get a cooked. Now here we you can get like you can get basically just type in what you want and the computer will do it. So this time I think I only want I think I want a pumpkin pie. Look, I've got a oh, pumpkin, pie. pumpkin pie. Now now if I wanted a cake I got a cake. See? So let's put that cake there. And, and that's for dessert later on. Yeah. For that family that's living there. Now please we stress that this is still use your imagination because the limits of Minecraft. It's not realistic. It's not realistic. Like so some of the resources in there are realistic. Yeah. Like say, like um, See stone. I don't even know if that's a real resource. Yeah. But, for lightning. but as you can see, this isn't really like a frying pan where the flames come up. It's just it's some it's crosses. You mean oven? An oven. Or an oven top. You know. An oven top. Anything yeah. like that. I it's just. Like it's just crosses. So please use your imagination. It's everything's blocky. So yeah. Um, now these are our cupboards, as you cupboards, can see. Like our pan or pantry. Yeah. Whatever. As you can see, the cupboards. So each one opens both. This is the smaller one for cups and things like that. So there are some um, more. And these are the ones for. These are the ones for plates, and these are the ones for um, the for the 
like cups. Cups. This is the master bedroom or the main bedroom as you can see. Now when I was working this I I was thinking some people they don't want the leaves. As you can see this room's actually built and surrounded by leaves. And some people they don't want the leaves to be on their head because they can dust anything like that. But so this is our master bedroom. As you can see, it's completely swept by leaves. It's got its own TV, bench in case they want to do any work, two chests for storing anything they need to, and a double bed for couples, obviously. You so this is the master bedroom or the main bedroom. It's got a double bed for families, and it's completely surrounded by leaves except the back end where you're sleeping. It's got a TV, a desk, and a bed, which is actually, which is actually a sleepable bed, as you can see now. Now we just want to sleep. As you can see, and now we're back up. Now, and now, so as you walk into this hallway, we have. It's not just any hallway. It's just a hallway, like. Um, it's not just any hallway, Yanni. Okay. It's not just any hallway. Okay, it's a hallway. It's. It, what do you think it is, Yanni? A hallway. No, it's not just any hallway. It's then what is it a like walk-in wardrobe. A walk-in wardrobe. What's this? Walk-in. So this is the hats for. This is for all your hats and masks. So masks, hat, anything you want. There's plenty of storage, as you can see. And next door to it is um your like boots or pants. It's your pants. It's basically your top, your pants, your boots, all the things like that. Oh, sorry, Miss Celestia. Celestia. I, we named this um. Security guard. Oh, sorry, Miss Ce Miss Celestia. Ce Miss Celestia, whatever her name is. Oh, uh, sorry, Miss Celestia. I didn't see you there. As uh, you can see, she's probably just eyeing off the fine collection of. So yeah, she's basically. She yeah. She no. She so this is the owner, Miss Celestia. And as you can see, she's just eyeing off lots of her clothes. As you can see there, so they're just looking at some of our clothes. And there's plenty of storage, as you can see, she's filled hers up. Filled hers up. So, plenty of storage, great look and feel better. And she's very clean as well. Yeah. So, this is the next bit. This is the next bit. And which is so actually there's a big ensuite. ensuite. So, as you can the see, the bath, or the, oh, not basin. the bath, the basins. The basins that and where you, yeah, basically that. Taps, as you can see. Taps? Taps. You said taps. Doesn't as you can see, taps, basins, um, storage for makeup and cosmetics, things like that. A, a desk or just basically a makeup thing for doing what you want to do, well, power on your face. But unfortunately, this mirror is not a mirror, it's a see through mirror. No, it's a mirror. <laughs> it's, it's a mirror. mirror. As you can see, this is a mirror. It's unfortunately true. See through. As you can see, this is a mirror. So you can just look into it. Um, this mirror is not what it seems to be. It's actually a two way mirror. And this is the bath. The bath and the shower. Oh, sorry, Junior. Didn't see you there. So, as you can see, it's on this on this side. It's actually you can look out, but no one can see into you. And the thing is, what are these? These are actually heated towel racks. It's heated so, towel racks. Yeah. So, there's so, a so just when you get out of the shower and you're and, and feeling cold, you can have um, you a can have a, a yeah. heated towel. A yeah, a heated towel. 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 And as you can see, this is our bath. Hooks, everything you need. As you can see, this is the toilet. The reason we've actually m made it so no one can it, we made it like this is because it, two people can use it as once, so you can't actually look through, and no one can look in. So yes, so it's like it's like um, a private toilet. Basically. Yeah. So, so, so you could do your own business in there. So pe one person could have it in a shower or a bar, and the other could be on the toilet, but you won't see them because They're, it's private. It's pri it, we made it private. This is basically what well, all the, the houses are, and but they're in different like order. They're not in the same. 
And again, um, they they are in the same formation. They they have the choice to change things and add things. So if they didn't want this carpet, they could change the carpet. If they didn't want a room like this, they could change the room. Or if they just wanted to add an extra room, they could add an extra room. That's right. That's now here's a flyover, just of a silent and just showing you what the house looks like altogether. And that's, and, that, and that's basically the whole, that's the, the whole house. house. Here we are at the decimation. face is going to talk to you about. And if you do not know what a decimination plant is. We'll tell you. A decimination plant is basically, it extracts the water from the ocean, as you can see it it's doing now, and turns it into drinkable water. So it's like a filtering. Yeah, it's a filter. It's, fi it's a filter basically for the whole city. Yeah. And this is how we get all of our water supplies. These two are the main two, and this one's a short one in case, so it's just more productive in case we, if we need small amounts of water to test. And these two are the main two for our city. Now, here's the inside. As you can see, this is the inside. It's controlled by computers. But what computer wall? Oh, wow. So we, so As we you can have see. a computer wall that controls all of the... Uh, yeah, as you can see, we, this is that computer wall. It controls the what vows are open and what vows aren't, and what times they need to be set at, and just things like that, testing and stuff like that. Um, now here is the what what now uh, you're probably thinking, where does the water go after it get filtered by this main facility? It then either goes through this pipe or the other pipe or this pipe. Now each dome is filled with water that either we don't use or is in storage. For so for the next. yeah, for the next time. So more than ninety percent of the water we filter is used straight away. This te the ten percent ten percent that isn't used is this one. So that 10% of the water that is not used is actually stored in these, basically, they're bubbles they're of water. bubbles of water. So um, it's stored for in case we run... And we have another one. So as you can see, water is actually being used right now. That's why it's flowing down. Yeah, so water is being used by all our citizens in our um, city, state, yes, country, okay. whatever it is. Um, that's pretty much all we have in our city. Um, thank you for watching and enjoying the video, but, so this is our stadium called, this, this, is, our, this is our stadium called Mays, Mays Stadium. It's named after Rufaeus and Aiden. And we have the, um, the, our national flag of the state, our of the city. This is our flag, and as you can see, this is our flag of the city or our state, we still haven't decided. Yes, yeah, we, have, we don't know. The world is basically it means we're an eco city and it also means what we can do if we combine as one the white is the sky the blue is the water and the, the, the brown is the skin color of native americans or indigenous people or indians and the white is the skin color of white people so americans any australians anyone of that and the light brown streak in the middle is if you mix white and brown together, it it becomes white brown. White brown. Light brown. So that's why it's light brown in the middle. Because if we come together, 
we can it basically means if we come together we can do something great